And also there's been a bit of a paradigm shift, it seems like, where instead of being interested in the inner causes of aging and you know, how aging occurs as a sort of these bi through biological mechanisms, um, just in the last 30 years, there's sort of been this shift towards, okay, how does aging actually, how is it influenced from things outside of the body and what can we do to actually act on aging? Um, so yeah, there's just sort of been this shift in the science from looking inside the body to uh, looking, I guess, outside of the body and what we can do through behaviours um, and also how society, I guess, ages at different rates. And that's, on the one hand, led to a lot more I guess opportunities to age well, but also a lot more anxieties, I think, around managing aging and this pressure to constantly, uh, I guess, be on guard on aging and make the correct decisions. So there's, yeah, sort of, I guess, pros and cons with that, but definitely different from what it was about, yeah, 60, 70 years ago, where aging was just something that happened and 